I need to make things. I just love making things. Um, I'm a jeweler, and which I became by accident. Uh, there was no family history or tradition in that. So I just uh, always liked making things with my hand. Even when I was at school and I was bored, I started to make uh, carve little things under the table. And that was the initial to start something. I wanted to make something work with my hands, do something, create something with my hands. That was the main focus. And uh, luckily, I, I've uh, got in contact with the jewelry school and uh, tried there and loved it from the first moment. The, the tools, the scale, everything just fitted. I could do it. It suited my brain-hand connection. When I wanted to do this, I could do this with uh, the equipment I had and I stick to it since then. And that's like how long ago? Almost 30 years ago, yeah. I don't really know what it means, that transition for my work coming here. It's still uh, an adventure and it's still showing up. I'm still finding out, but it definitely had an effect on my work already. There was some, astonishingly, some work quite directly influenced from coming here, building my workshop, and suddenly some building materials uh, uh, had influence, came from the floor workshop onto my bench into the rings, actually. And I was quite surprised how instant that happened. So that was new. I always, you know, my practice was uh, I'm constantly other, rather reworking back in my history from what I learned and using that as a resource and suddenly was something totally new just bang in there on the table in the ring. So it's quite nice. Surprise for me. It's um, been with Francis and Martino, and, you know, been in contact for quite a while, but we never been actually working together. I mean, we're working, putting a show together, but we're not creating work together. And this is the first time we had uh, hands on. There's some pieces in the show that we all three had our hands on. And uh, that was a new and very exciting, refreshing experience because, you know, there's some. There's a real understanding with each, each other's work, but you know, to allow and be so confident to just uh, you know, uh, allow each other to you know, mingle, mix up, was uh, really good. The body is always uh, present. I mean, in jewelry, you need a body. Jewelry doesn't work without a body. I mean, you can put it on a shelf or put it in a showcase, which it happens, but that's... Uh, um, I like it. The piece for me actually is finished when it's on the body, when somebody wears it. It's, that's the connection that brings it alive. And it's a good piece is not uh, only a good piece if it looks good in the showcase. It can look uh, terrible on a person or on the other person. The same ring looks great. And the same on, the, on another person, it, it looks not good. It's, they have to find each other. The wearer and the piece have to find each other. And then, and you, we all would, uh, no, you, you know you can see it, you feel it when it's right. And that's a very interesting aspect of it, how things get together. Mm -hmm. And that's also the same thing with Francis and Martino. The first time we collaborated, Francis put rings on her sculptures, on the sloth or some monkeys, and it was just bang, the perfect place for them to be. I you know, couldn't imagine. The combination was, wow.